And scientists from uh, the South uh, African Council of uh, Geoscience visited uh, Gozun Natal following two separate earthquakes in the province at the weekend. Both had a magnitude of around four. One struck about 40 kilometers northeast of Kokstad on Sunday. Uh, the other was uh, recorded near Greytown on Saturday afternoon. Let's uh, get an update. Following that visit, we are now joined via Zoom by Willem Menkes, who's the manager for infrastructure and land use at uh, the Council of Geoscience. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Willem, for joining us here on SABC News, sir. Good afternoon. Thank you. All right. Let's, let's talk about the council's uh, visit uh, then to uh, Gosling Natal. Talk to us about what really this, the aim um, of, of this visit uh, was and, and, and what you were able uh, to, to find. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, as a council for geoscience, typically when there's larger earthquakes that occur, uh, we deploy our scientists uh, to the communities and the areas uh, typically around the uh, epicenter of these uh, earthquakes. Um, and as part of this information that we are gathering, it's uh, what we call a, a earthquake intensity survey. Uh, so that is to get an understanding of uh, from the community members uh, that, that were affected and that reported the, uh, the shaking of these earthquakes to get a sense of how intensely did they actually experience these earthquakes in the areas that they reside. Uh, and this will now uh, allow us to gain better insights and understanding into um, how these uh, earthquakes propagate uh, from the point where they actually occurred that we refer to as the epicenter. Yeah, you know, we were just uh, talking to our reporter, Vusi Kumara, who is uh, based in uh, KZN, and actually we were talking about uh, the floods. And one of the things he spoke about there was the fact that, you know, natural disasters seemingly on the increase in, in KZN. Yes, we've seen the floods year after year that do certainly occur in, in KZN. But, you know, when you're bringing in now the issue of earthquakes, is that something for us to be really sort of uh, concerned and, and worried about when it comes to these natural disasters? I mean, one can only imagine what would happen in a situation where you're dealing with an earthquake and also, uh, you know, the effects of uh, flooding. Yes, so um, I think it's uh, it's one of those uh, unfortunate um, uh, chain of events, you know, following the recent uh, flooding that we've seen in, in the KZN province uh, and now the ones uh, that happened now over the last couple of days uh, in combination with uh, with the earthquakes that have been happening there as well over the um, over the past weekend. So um, I think uh, uh, in, in a general sense, when it comes to, for instance, slope stability and landslide related uh, um, natural hazards, uh, sometimes there's an aspect of, of uh, anthropogenic NATO or human induced activity in that as well. Um, we've done some work as the Council for Geoscience to map out these uh, susceptible areas to understand, you know, where's the high risk uh, or the uh, areas that are more vulnerable to, to slope instability. Uh, but then when it comes to earthquakes and the occurrences of, of, of earthquakes in the province, yeah. uh, most of them are uh, natural occurrences. Uh, so uh, we don't have any means uh, scientifically at the, at the moment to predict with, uh, with certainty when and and where they might strike again. Uh, so the best thing at this point in time is to uh, at least have measures and, and standby procedures, you know, as and when uh, some of these disasters do occur so that, uh, you know, adequate response can be can be given to the affected communities. Yeah, Willem, as you know, as a layman on this uh, complex uh, topic that you obviously know quite well, um, you know, as I was doing research for our conversation, um, I looked up, you know, you know where we are, uh, particularly in, in in Africa and South Africa and Southern Africa, um, and it, it seems as though you know we are a sort of situated on a, on a relatively sort of uh, stable uh, part, um, you know, of the African continent. So, is it is it not strange, you know, uh, when 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 these things do um, sort of uh, occur. Do we know um, what exactly would have caused uh, these tremors or, or earthquakes, and uh, particularly at a point where one would have expe been expecting some sort of uh, stability? And let's also bear in mind that w at this point we don't really have that uh, sort of infrastructure. I know that you know in places like Japan where they sort of have their earthquakes, buildings are built such that uh, they can weather those sort of storms. But you know it's, it's, it's a crisis for us, isn't it? If this is something that's going to happen quite frequently. 
Yes, so, so you are quite right. Um, as South Africa, in, in the context where we're sitting uh, uh, on an interplate uh, tectonic setting, uh, we don't anticipate a lot of uh, frequent and, and larger earthquakes, uh, as in the cases of Japan that you've cited, or even the U.S. Uh, and, and other parts of the world. Uh, but it is not uh, um, uh, to any um, uh, surprise that we do get these seismic events from time to time. Yeah. Uh, we are not completely aseismic uh, in terms of occurrences, although the frequency of those uh, larger earthquakes occurring uh, is a lot less uh, frequent uh, than what we'd expect in other parts of the world. Uh, so we do have some uh, historical records in uh, South Africa as well, uh, over the last century about uh, larger earthquakes happening, so typically your magnitudes fives and sixes, uh, which are uh, orders of magnitudes larger than what we've seen uh, over the last uh, weekend. Um, but uh, at this point in time, you know, we, we do have a monitoring system deployed across the country uh, in terms of the seismograph stations, so uh, to record seismicity as and when they happen uh, in the country. Um, and a lot of this information also uh, uh, through research was uh, um, uh, incorporated into some of our building standards and codes uh, to sort of cater at least for our unique situation in South Africa when it comes to, uh, you know, the building and engineering side of things. Uh, so there are some things in place. Uh, yeah. uh, I, I wouldn't say that we don't have anything, uh, yeah. but in our context, uh, it's, it's definitely not as severe as other parts of the world. All right, Willem, thank you very much for giving us uh, your time and uh, for your insight today on this uh, issue. That is uh, Willem Menkes, who's the Manager for Infrastructure and Land Use at uh, the Council for uh, Geoscience, uh, part of the science uh, team uh, from South Africa, uh, from the South African uh, Council uh, for Geoscience visiting uh, KZN.